stay with you. And the most left wing was uh, the third one. Yeah. Again, And then these are just like your child seats, right? Okay. This is all about sex, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. So to give you an idea, yeah. when you're travelling at 60 k's now, yeah. a box of tissues yeah. weighs about the same as a house brick. Oh. oh. So in a crash, whatever you've got in the boot suddenly is very, very heavy. So because we take safety so seriously, we give everybody a net to be able to keep things in the boot. Yeah. But also the back of this chair, has got steel plate okay. to make sure nothing can get through the seat. Pretty impressive. Yeah. Wow. Just jump on. Wow. Are they a bit safer? Okay. 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 And you can bring it back up holding the other one. You want your six year old on the booster, depending on size. Yeah. So the handle releases on the front. Yeah. You pull the handle. Yeah. Yep. It comes back and push down. It clicks. Yep. Yeah. Now the height and weight recommendations are written on the label. Okay. But if you want the higher setting for yeah. smaller kids, yeah. above the handle is a button. You just push the button to release the seat. Yeah. And you grab it both sides and give it a really firm tug up. That's it. And that locks it to the higher setting. Okay. Yeah. From either height, doesn't matter. When you yeah. pull the handle, it yeah. releases. Nice firm push in the middle of the seat and it clicks back down. Okay. Um, the kids will find it. But in here, a little bit of storage. Uh, cup holders come out the end. And there's a 230 volt Australian power. Um, if the rear passengers want to control their own air conditioning, the LCD display there will have their adjustments there. Yeah. Um, mm, little fun. things, jacket hanger hook right here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's also um, with regard to like the vehicle display in the middle, showing no seat belts on, yeah. the centre button, the circle over there that I said was your go-to button, yeah. yeah, push that, and it'll make it go away. Okay. Yeah. Now, Again, I didn't get a chance to do all your settings, so we're, we're going to do a few settings as we go. Yeah. I'll ask you how you think you want things to happen, yeah. but in the middle there, we could have your music, we could have the map. Yeah. You can actually have nothing at all like that as well. Okay. But have you driven with adaptive cruise control? No. Okay. So you've used normal cruise control? Yes. Okay. So the difference with adaptive is if you're set on 80 k's an hour and you come up behind a slower car, yeah. the adaptive recognizes that vehicle and will slow down and have the same speed as them, right? Yep. Now, you can do that all the way to stop. If you're following a car up to a red light, that's fine. You'll both just stop at the yep. same time. Yep. When the light goes green, they leave. Yep. You just have to accelerate. Yep. And about, once the car's traveled about, I don't know, four or five meters, yep. the system will turn on automatically. Okay. Yep. To set your cruise is the center button here on the left. Okay. So you're driving along, push that, and that'll set your cruise control. To adjust your speed, the plus and the minus here, yep. every time you push them, you get five kilometer jumps. Oh, yep. If you push and hold, it counts the ones, and you can let go when you get what you want. Okay. But when you set cruise, the bottom part of this screen, you get a picture of the road. Okay? Okay. Now, there's a picture of a car at the bottom, which is you, yep. then the road, and then there'll be a number of lines in front of you. Yep. And you can adjust the number of lines with this, yep. and that's your proximity to a slower car. Okay. Okay? Now, one line, yeah. is a one and a half second time distance between you. Okay. And whenever you add an extra line, you add another half second of time. That's distance in between the cars. That's right, yeah. yeah. So we use time rather than a set yeah. distance because okay. the speed changes. Yeah, yep. sure. 
Um, when you when the car does when you are following another car or coming up to another car, yeah. at the top of that picture of the road, so we have you lines. There's then a picture of a car, so that oh, you okay. can you know the car has found that vehicle. Yeah. Yep. Um, you'll also get your cruise information in the head-up display, okay. so you know what's going on. Yeah. Letting a car break for you yeah. is quite unnatural. Yeah. Okay. So when you first start using it, yeah. it's normal to be like really cautious. Yeah. Um, just if you are approaching another car, just yeah. just trust it, get used to it. Yeah. Um, just remember, if you do touch the brake pedal, you yeah. just turn it off. Okay. So make sure you keep braking. Yeah. Yeah? yeah. The other one is it's okay to follow a car into stop, yeah. but if all the other cars are going really slow or they've already stopped and yeah. you're coming up fast, yeah. take over, yeah. do your own braking. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Then what we have is what's called pilot assist. Yeah. So the arrows either side here, right? If yeah. we arrow to the right, yeah. it says pilot assist, yeah. and the picture of a car has changed to a steering wheel okay. down there. Yep. Yeah. So, <coughs> pardon me. So that picture of the road with you as a car at the bottom, that changes to a steering wheel. Yeah. Okay? It's adaptive cruise control, yeah. and now the car will steer as well. Yeah. Yep. So the steering wheel starts off grey in colour yeah. and then switches to green. Yeah. And when it's green, that means the camera up here has found the white lines on the road yeah. and it's now going to do the steering too. Okay. Okay. I suggest start with adaptive cruise control. Okay. Get used to that. Yeah. But yeah, arrow across and yeah. you'll turn on the steering. Okay. The car is capable of turning a corner that's a 15 degree angle. 15. Okay. So this is really something like for the M1, yeah, yeah? all yeah. the corners are gentle. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the other thing is, there's nothing for you to do, it's driving, yeah? okay. but you can't take your hands off the wheel for too long. Okay. You get about 20 seconds. If it can't um, detect your hands are there, yeah. it'll That's alert you. Yeah. You get about another five seconds. Yeah. If it still can't detect you, it will turn off the cruise control. Yeah. Yeah. So I usually just drive with my hands on, like that. So any, anywhere over my head, yeah. steering wheel is fine. What it looks for is when it's making a steering movement, yeah. it looks for the need to provide some force to okay. do that. Yeah. yeah. So a little bit of resistance to its own movement is what yeah. it needs. Yeah. Um, if, it, if you're using pilot assist and you want to change lanes, mm -hmm. when you indicate, mm -hmm. the green steering wheel goes grey, mm -hmm. you manoeuvre to the new lane mm -hmm. and it turns green automatically. Okay. Yep. So they recognise that I'm in the, within the lane. Yes. The new lane. So yes. it starts again. And it just yeah. takes back, takes yeah. back yeah. the steering. Yep. Okay. Um, you can also switch between pilot assist and adaptive cruise at your leisure. So, oh, so going left and right yeah. is between adaptive cruise control and pilot assist. Okay. Yep. So really, steering on, yeah. steering off. Okay. You think of it like that. Okay. Yep. So like, confused. <laughs> when you're using it, <laughs> yeah. it makes more sense. Yeah. Yeah. The main thing I want everyone to know is you got to keep your hands on the wheel, yeah. mm -hmm. and it can only turn a 15 degree corner. Yeah. Yeah, if it's sharper than that, you need to help. It is normal that the car sits a little bit in the left of the lane. It's okay. meant to. Okay. Glove box, there's a toggle switch just there. Yeah. Yep. So if I open that like that, I can feel in here I've got cold air. Okay. Yep. So if you put cold drinks in there, it'll help keep them chilled. Yeah. Otherwise, just leave it in. Yeah. Um, if you have hot air running, it won't let hot air go in there. Okay. If you put cold drinks in it, it keeps them chilled. But if you put a warm drink in there, it won't make it cold. Okay. Not for a long time anyway. Yeah. Once you reach 65, it'll, it'll be on. Yeah. And if you're leaving your lane without using your indicator, mm -hmm. the car will do whatever you've asked in the menu. So okay. it can vibrate the wheel, yeah. it can steer you back, yeah. or it could do both. Okay. But we'll get to that in the menu. Yeah. Parking sensors, beep, 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 beep. Yeah. I think everybody loves that, leave that on. Yeah. But again, you're unlikely to ever want to turn them off. No. So we'll get it out of the way. Stop start on the engine. If you don't want that system running, that's where you can turn it off. But it's on by default when you start the car. It always yeah. will be. Yeah. Yeah. Distance alert. The most annoying thing in our car. Okay. okay. I tell everyone leave it off. Okay. What it does is that little symbol of the cars yeah. is in your windscreen. Okay. If you're following another car yeah. and Volvo goes, just you need to drop back a bit. You're a bit close. Okay. Yeah. So you go, all right. Then you drop back, drop back, drop back. You went, how far back do I have to go? And then you go, oh my God, I'm miles away. Finally, the light goes off. Okay. Three cars take the spot in front of yeah. you. You're back um, where you started. Okay. So I don't suggest using that one, no. but feel free to try it. Okay. But you've got a, like a collision, uh, like a prevent collision thing here. So yeah, that's all right. If it's 
to close it will stop absolutely yes. yeah we have all that too yeah. they're all emergency systems yeah. yeah this is just say like a nanny it's just going oh stay back a bit yeah. Yeah. Um, now park in and park out is where the car does the steering for parking okay. okay do you think you're likely to use it or want to use it yeah you will my wife will be <laughs> all right okay yeah. what you need to know there needs to be one car bay between two cars okay if there's two bays, it won't work. Just one available parking bay, okay? And let's say that's your bay, right? You're back here on approach, you could park in. So it scans to the left. It says drive past the bay. You need to keep quite close to the cars, nice and steady. And then you get past it and it says spot found and stop. Put it in reverse. So you put it in reverse and then it says, let go of the steering wheel and you control the brake pedal yeah. and as you back up it'll do the steering yeah. and then across the screen is like a little blue bar mm -hmm. and it shows you how much further to go okay. so when you're in here and it starts going beep 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 make sure you're listening yeah. and watch the blue bar yeah. you know, beep 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 stop yeah. and then it's, it might say put me in drive yeah. and just correct the last bit yeah. and then it says it's done okay. oh. it works exactly the same way getting out okay just in reverse the other way around yep yeah. Where it says scanning left, that's because we drive on the left-hand side of the road. If you're in like a one-way street and the parking bay is that side, yeah. indicate right, yeah. and it'll look on that side instead. Mm -hmm. okay. yep. does, does, it, uh, does it do the, uh, the reverse parking as well? The, no, not, not a part of parking. Yeah, it does both. So when you drive past the bay, options are on screen where it says it found a spot, mm -hmm. parallel or perpendicular. Yeah. Yep. If you'd like to get benefit from that, go and find a side street, side yeah? street. and practice yeah. with a few cars, with yeah. a few goes, just to get a feeling of how close you have to drive, mm -hmm. nice steady speed. Mm -hmm. It's very good. It works very well mm -hmm. when you know how to use it. Because if you try that first time and there's people waiting behind you, mm -hmm. ah, you get all stressed. Mm -hmm. yeah. Headrest fold. I'm not going to do that. Okay. Yep. Um, if you turn on this, it will adjust the speed, it will adjust the limiter to the speed signs for you. Okay. So it's really like if you're running out of demerit points or something, like you'd have to be pretty pretty diligent to be wanting to use that. Okay. Cruise control, so do, sorry. Does it, sorry, so hmm? does it recognize with the, this sign? Yes. So if, so if, this, if the 90 is the speed limit, if you put, turn this on, mm -hmm. so the limit will be 90. Correct. Yeah, yeah. So if you try to accelerate, it won't go faster than 90. Yeah. yeah. It's not cruise, it's just yeah. a limit. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But can, can it be used uh, both with the uh, auto Not the cruise. No, not, the not yet. No. Not yet. No. Okay. Yeah, it will come. Okay. It's because the road sign recognition isn't perfect. Okay. So there's occasionally like an 80 symbol, yeah. the car thinks it's 30. Okay. We don't want you to suddenly come down to 30 k's no. an hour automatically. No. Yeah. 